Brickhead Boy Toy presents a double review. On this left corner, we have Roomba, powerful military, an Abrams tank. And on this side, we have uh, where's the illustration? Roomba, uh, Armada tank. So it looks like the Abrams does not use stickers. This one is CO848. It has 1,472 pieces. On this side here, we have stickers for this one. No number of pieces. Anyways, let's build it. And here are the sets complete. On the Abrams side, you have your tank, four minifigures. You have your swappable variant pieces, brick separator. Your extra pieces, including two track links. You have four extra tires for the other build and your weapons and their plastics along with these, which have a few left in them. And then on the T-14 Armada side, we have two minifigures with some weapons, along with a brick separator, which is a little bit different than this. Your weapons, and for the extra pieces, three track links and just three extra pieces. Here is your sticker sheet with your bonus Booma. I can use that for something else. By the way, this here uses no stickers. So before I review these separately, I just want to say as for them together, these are bigger than my usual 135 scale. These are approximately, my opinion, is 132 scale. So I won't go any bigger than this, the size. These use pretty much the same printed minifigures. You can see the torso vest. So I guess these are your generic Wuma modern soldiers. Anyways, we'll start the review on this side. Starting with the instruction book. Like I said, I just wish there was an illustration on the front for the artwork for this tank. But this is all you get. Instructions, easy to follow. Here are your mini figures. And on the back, there is printing, but no printing on the sides. This is quite... A different color for the Armada tank and you can see that there are stickers placed on here they are clear back stickers some nice detailing on the back you have some chains you can just remove if you want and turn it around you have lights in the front for your headlights 
And I guess you have lights on the side for visibility so the enemy can see you, probably. Are you right there? Another light. By the way, this is not really accurate as far as the proportions go for the Armada tank. But you can pretty much tell what they're trying to do. This build is basically more for play than display because, you know, the functions I'll show you in a minute. On the front, this is the only printed piece. And also, too, you do have a couple hatches that are not able to open. The only thing that opens is this. With your functions, let's see if the turret can depress. Yes. And elevate. Yes. 360. Let's see. And something's getting stuck. Apparently not. But you do have this that can rotate. And see. Nope. Cannot go a 360 either. And you do have a hatch on the top of the turret, which T14 Armadas are not supposed to have hatches on top of the turret. But this one does for play value, I guess. Do have a machine gun on top. So let's take this off. And this whole thing's actually supposed to come off, but let's do it again. A cool feature is you can open this to reveal the engine. Or you could slide the entire thing out. And you do have gears inside. So technically, when you rotate the turret, this rotates too. But it's not really working so well. So it's skipping gears. And then on this side, you can open this. All printed pieces. So technically, this whole top off is supposed to come off and there's your interior with the tracks you have to line them with the wheels to get it right this is how they are supposed to be aligned so you can roll it really easy and got stuck there you go a minifigure could fit somewhat, but if you close this, it will just stick up a little bit. Does not affect the turret in any way. And there you have a minifigure as a driver and one as a gunner on the turret, which you're not supposed to. Anyways, let's take a look at the other tank. So let's focus on the instruction book. Aside from your main build, you have the swappable variant on the other side. And then you do have actually a secondary build. So if you don't like what the tank provides, you can always build here. You have a vehicle. Of course, there are four extra tires aside from those. A miniature tank. Could be a drone or aircraft. Micro ship. And another vehicle which resembles a Humvee. And lastly, a small base for your vehicles. So you could build that alternately. Instead of the tank, if you'd like, but I don't know why you would. And apparently I will not be doing this build on this video, unfortunately. With four minifigures included, there are some slight differences. Of course, these two are the same, except for the head printings. And then you have the back of the minifigures. Here is default build of the tank, and it looks quite lovely. It has your urban camouflage and lots of armor and your mine plow in the front. Of course, you got the printed pieces as well. Not too many, but they're there. And on the turret, you have just lots of stuff. Sandbags and tires and chains. Very detailed. Do have some backpacks and some fuel cans in the back. Before we look at the other functions, let's look at the main ones, which this tank is supposed to do. Can I roll? Yes. Forward? No. Something's getting stuck. So there it is. This is pushed too far down. Got to leave some room. 
And on the other side, rolls better now. See if the uh, turret, the presses, yes. And elevate, yes, 360. Something's getting stuck. So apparently not. So no 360 on this Abrams. On the top, you do have a couple weapons. Let's move this out of the way. And this does open. And I like the technique on this using a plate to allow your mini fix to sit here. And on the back, you do have doors that open to reveal the engine. So now let's take a look with the turret taken out. And one flaw with this tank is this piece doesn't stick so well on here. So out of all the pieces, this piece is a bit loose. So there is your tank without the turret, and this is able to open. Take your fuel cans out, and there is your engine. Also, too, on the front, you do have an interior. Again, all printed pieces, and you do have a half figure. Isn't that cute? <laughs> You can just take him off and put a regular minifig in, and he fits. Lastly, you can open these on each side. So not all the way because these fence pieces get stuck. So now we will take all these pieces off and look at the tank bare. your bare bones Abrams without the variant pieces. So here is your primary variant and you have your secondary variant here. I'm gonna swap all these, but you can of course mix these if you want. So compared to the primary variant, I like this one too, but primary variant, I like a bit more. This has some stuff I like better, like for example, the printed numbers here, the uh, printed part here looks good. I do like the uh, reactive armor on this better than the fencing on the other variant. So this does have some smoke grenade launchers there, the smoke dispensers. Problem with this is the turret is not stationary for the uh, cannon, so it does just, you just have to keep it in a good spot. A little bit flimsy. But you can, of course, like I said, put other parts and just mix the variants around. You could put the mine plow on here. Or if you don't like the barrel, you could just exchange it. For me though, I think I'll keep the original variant minus exchange the uh, side skirts. So this is the combination I prefer. The original variant with, of course, swap side armor for the reactive panels. And uh, of course you do have your printed numbers on there. I just like the looks of this better. I was thinking of buying a second set so I could do two variants, but I do have another Abrams from Wuma. So last time I did a review on this Abrams and I think two Abrams good enough. If I had three, I think that's just overdoing it. So I do have, of course, the plain one here and I have the urban up armored one. And here they are front to back. You can see that they are pretty much the same in length and width minus the extra plates on the reactive armor. And the top view. Anyways, let's conclude this review. So AliExpress 
I got these for about $30 here and $40 there. I will leave the link in the description from the store I bought it from. So what can I say? Just my preference again, just my opinion. These are too large for my liking. I like 135. These are probably 132, maybe 131 or 130 scale. I'm not sure exactly, but they are a little bit too wide for me by two studs, two studs um, across. Even though these are still pretty good building blocks from Roomba and the T14 Armada, $30, that's not bad. Has nice little features. Of course, a turret with a hatch, that's unheard of. I do like the color, quite unusual. So not re really accurate. Like I said, it's more for play because of the interior and just the details of the engine. With the M1 A1 Abrams tank, coming at almost 1,500 pieces for $40. I think it's really worth it because you can swap and just play around with the armor and the looks of the tank. And I do like the mine plow attachment. Very, very cool. Though the minifigs on both are just generic, so there's no telling of what country they're from. I would just call these soldiers of Wuma. So these are Wuma's military. Anyways, that's all I got to say about this review link in the description it's brickhead boy thanks for watching